I'm giving you an up-close look at Blueford Shop's in-scale ICC bay window cabooses on Ron's Trains and Things right now. Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroad tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure to subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. Today, I'm going to give you an up-close look at some great-looking models that you might have missed. Recently, Blueford Shops released some great-looking in-scale cabooses. That is, the ICC International Car Company Bay Window Cabooses. And they released these in five different versions and a number of different road names with some great detail. I'm going to give you an up-close look today at the samples that I got from Model Railroad News. And you can see a full review of these cabooses in the June 2020 issue of Model Railroad News, so be sure and check that out. But now, let's head on over to the workbench. We're going to get these cabooses out and take a close look. Visit our sponsor, Midwest Model Railroad. Their new location with 5,500 square feet of inventory and next day shipping make them your premier model railroad destination. MidwestModelRR.com. Link in the description. This is going to be just a brief review of Blueford Shop's International Car Company Bay Window Cabooses. Now, these cabooses have uh, been out for a, a little while, but I um, wanted to uh, give you an opportunity to take a look at them as I have uh, some samples here from Model Railroad News. Uh, this, these cabooses actually come in five different versions. Uh, and I have two of these different versions here to, to show you today. Uh, one of them, uh, as far as road names are concerned, one is a Penn Central and one is a Union Pacific. And these are, are great looking models. And uh, if you miss them and you uh, model in an era where you need uh, some cabooses, these are some, some fantastic looking cabooses. So I'm going to show you today. Uh, I'm going to show you the Penn Central first because I want to take a little deeper look at the Union Pacific model. Uh, the, the Penn Central model is uh, the version that's, that is a half uh, bay window. It's got a shorter uh, bay window uh, than the, the other versions. And as I open it up here and pull the plastic back, you can see uh, that very short little little window that it has there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pull it right out of the jewel case and bring in a stand here so you can kind of get a nice look at it from the side. And there it is. It's got very, uh, very nice, uh, appropriate uh, paint as far as the color is concerned. It's nice and crisp. Uh, it's got the, the flush mounted window glazing, which looks really, really good. One of the things you'll notice on uh, on both of these is that they have uh, separately applied uh, grab irons, wire grab irons, uh, and also the, the end details are separately applied and, and, and very nice as well. Got the separate stacks on the top. The Penn Central version uh, has, um, I'll turn it around here on the end so hopefully you can see, uh, it has dummy marker lights, uh, two of them on, on each end, uh, and uh, it has uh, separately applied brake wheels, has the, the chains on the end of the locomotive. The chains are, are, are uh, a little bit chunky. They're not, they're not real chains, but, but otherwise look pretty nice. Uh, one of the things I really like uh, that featured on these models is they come with, uh, e e equipped with Fox Valley metal wheel sets, which are what I upgrade all of my other rolling stock to. I love Fox Valley wheel sets and I like having metal wheel sets as well. Uh, as we turn it over to the bottom, uh, a, a great deal of uh, braking, uh, brake rigging detail, the piping and the, and the hardware, all separately applied and uh, looks really, really good. Body mounted uh, knuckle couplers uh, and um, it all looks really, really nice. The, 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 the details of the labeling are, are crisp and uh, I'm sure if I came in with a, uh, a high magnifying glass or or an optivizer that I could would be actually be able to read those things uh, I can tell even with my glasses that that the letters look look like they're crisp even though I, I can't quite read them uh, so so those of you who are Penn Central fans this is a great looking little caboose 
that uh, might be something you would be interested in. Now, I want to focus uh, my attention actually today a little bit more on, on the other caboose that I have here. This is uh, what they refer to as the Phase 4 caboose, uh, and this is a Union Pacific caboose. And uh, pull the plastic out of here. One of the things I failed to mention on the Penn Central, and I will mention it now, in, in the box comes uh, some, some detail that the modelers can, uh, uh, modeler can apply. And I don't know if you can see that, but what that actually is, is an axle generator uh, used to, uh, to, to use the, the turn of the axles to charge the batteries on the, the, the caboose so we can keep power in the caboose. So that comes, uh, it doesn't come with all of these models, uh, but it comes with the ones that it would be appropriate for uh, as they come from, from, uh, from Blueford shops. Here's the Union Pacific. This is what they refer to as the Phase 4 version of these cabooses. Uh, and uh, the Phase 4 has a, a, a wide uh, bay, and it has the, the two-pane windows on the sides of the bay. And the Union Pacific one actually comes with these uh, window screen uh, frames, and that's a separately applied uh, etched metal detail. Now, on the one that I have, uh, you might notice one of those uh, actually came off the model in shipping. It's in the box. Uh, which I have planned to reapply. I think just a simple drop of CA will have that right back in place as it just kind of uh, frames in and, 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 and sits on the, uh, on the bay. So that, that won't be a problem. Uh, again, the same kind of details that we saw on the Penn Central model with the separately applied grab irons, the, uh, the, the, the brake detail on the bottom of the car, the, uh, the, the knuckle couplers, uh, all of those details are... Uh, are in place, and this is a fine-looking model. Now, this uh, Union Pacific version, uh, these uh, the prototypes of these were originally uh, Rock Island cabooses that were purchased late late in the caboose game. Uh, they were built uh, originally starting in 1966. And that's when the, the merger between Rock Island and Union Pacific already was kind of underway. That drug out for a long period of time. Ultimately, Union Pacific inherited these. Uh, and uh, around 1980, they were repainted into this Union Pacific paint scheme. Again, just a few years before they were, were retired as uh, cabooses were, were phased out of uh, North American rail service. Uh, for me personally, I'm excited to have this because I actually have a Union Pacific transfer yard on, uh, interchange yard on my layout, and I run a Union Pacific locomotive that switches that yard. And so what I think I'm going to do with this, even though my era is, is, is quite a bit after uh, the caboose era was over, I'm going to weather this and use it as a shoving platform in that yard on my layout, and I'm uh, I'm, I'm I'm excited to, uh, to 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 do that. Now I uh, took a look at these uh, before uh, we got on camera here, and uh, just checked out some of the standards, and uh, I was happy to see in both cases that the wheel sets were all engaged, the coupler heights were all correct. And the weight was correct on these per uh, NMRA recommended practices. So uh, that's all, uh, you know, very nice to, to see. You, you would expect that, but, it, but glad, to, glad to see that, uh, that that was the case on these models. Now I'm going to take uh, this model out and get some, some photographs of it on the layout so uh, you can get uh, an up-close look at it and uh, get a sense of uh, exactly how this model would look if you were to purchase it on uh, for your layout. Now the MSRP on this model is $39.95, but I know you can find it at many hobby shops, both in person and online, at a substantial discount. 
In fact, as of the filming of this video, there are several of these models available at our sponsor, Midwest Model Railroad. You may want to go and check those out. If you model an era that needs cabooses on your trains, this may be a great place for you to start, as these models, I think, will serve you very, very well. And if you'd like to see some more reviews of freight cars and locomotives, then check out the playlist linked in the corner of your screen right now. Be sure and take a look at the description down below where you're going to find a link to my Amazon page and my Amazon pick of the week, as well as my Micromark promo code and several other links that I know that you will enjoy and benefit from as well. Well, if you'd like some more Model Railroad content right now, check out the links on your screen. And be sure and join me each Tuesday as I bring you even more great Model Railroad videos. And I look forward to seeing you then. Ten, Lizzie?